Welcome back to week four of the Alaskan Huskies franchise mode. Now, last week, we struggled big time. The past two weeks has been a struggle. We lost to the 49ers, 34 to 11. I mean, we had nothing to stop their tight end once again, and we were doing costly turnovers. Stanford threw for three interceptions. Our linebacker core is still a struggle, and I am actually thinking about trading for somebody. And I looked earlier at who I was thinking about getting, and there's a guy, a middle linebacker. Now, don't get me wrong. Damon Barrow is still one of my favorites, but he's young, and he doesn't quite have it yet. But there is a young guy that the Ravens do have. And he is not bad. He's young. He's 23. Matthew Gervasi, 23 years old, 79 overall. He has really good uh, pass coverage, 77. That's good for a, a linebacker at his age of 23. 91 speed, 88 tackle, 82 pursuit, 87 acceleration. We're going to get them. I don't know what it's going to take. We're going to see what kind of offers that they want for this. And they want a second round in 2036 and a seventh round of this year. I am fine with doing that. A second round of 2036, it doesn't really hurt us. That's in like two years from now because the year is 2034. But we do, in fact, have to cut a player. And uh, we have a lot of defensive tackles here. I, th I say we cut this 64 overall, which gives us $880,000 in cap space, but a penalty of 560K. Let's go with this one. Extra 360 cap space. We can work with that one. Let's go check out our depth chart now after getting our new starting middle linebacker Matthew Gervasi welcome to the team I really hope you show up and just cause a ruckus because we damn sure need it he is 6'3 225 pounds and he is a beast Zimmerman had a great showing last week Remember, we picked him up on free agency right before the game, and he had an interception. That's what we wanted. It's what we needed, and we just couldn't capitalize on the turnovers. Uh, let's go see what our check-in with QB1. He's not having a good game. Coach, your team has struggled out the game so far, and when that happens, a lot of the blame is usually placed on the quarterback. Who needs to step up? Stanford needs to step, step up. He's in a slump. Beat the Packers and have three plus passing touchdowns. That's um That's gonna be hard. <laughs> As we're going against Jalen Hurts, how are we gonna stop him? We're gonna negate scrambling because he's gonna pass on us like crazy. So if we keep him under 75 yards, that's a win. And we have plus five play recognition. The whole defense. Forecast is heavy rain. We are probably going to run this ball in the rain. I don't trust Stanford. So let's try to get a buck 50 on the ground. Mark Holiday and Trevor Roberts. They have it in them. They just need a quite, quite a bit more speed. As Trey McBride gets an upgrade. Old man Trey. Old man Trey. Vertical threat. Brings him up to a 75. How old is Trey McBride? It's been 10 years. He's 33 years old. And he's still helping us out. So we appreciate it, Trey. As Quincy Harper is asking for an upgrade here. Plus three temporary. Got to get that man up. 69 is not cutting it. Plus three man coverage. He's now up to a 69. So he was a 66 right before them. That's that's crazy. Uh, we don't care about these guys. All right. It is time to go to Green Bay to play Jalen Hurts. Let's get let's get the ball rolling and uh let's hope we can come out here with a win. 
at Lambo. All right, we're ready. All right, before the game start, let's check out this Packers team. Jalen Hurts, 13 years in the league. He's a 92 overall. And it's weird to see him in a Packer jersey. Then they got a running back, Marion, Marion Campbell. Marion Campbell? 91 speed. I, I trust our, our defense with the run. Um, I think we can handle that, especially with the low overall. Wide receivers, they kind of look like our team. Percy Vincent, 82 overall. 94 speed, though. Got a, got a few quick guys. Jaden Reed. Tight ends, we have Matt Gant. If we could stop him, we could win this game because I don't care what overall a tight end has, they are going to destroy us. Kelvin Collins, 79. Bart Drummond, nine years in, 87 overall with an 80 speed. Defensive tackle, only one good defensive tackle, Tremaine Love. Linebacker core doesn't look too scary. That middle linebacker, 85 speed, 80 overall as their cornerbacks are also mediocre. They don't really have a solid number one quarterback. Cornerback. Safeties. This defense looks like they could, they're beatable. So let's go out there and make it happen. As we get the ball first, this is the time to make an opening drive statement on the road in Lambeau Field. Our kick returner has no juke move. I mean, that was the slowest attempt I've ever seen in my life. Stand forward. Let's not throw a three interception game this time around. Let's take it easy. Use our check downs. Gain momentum. And just get some experience. Because that is what you need. Mark Holiday, First carry. Six yards. Marky Mark for six. Coach wants to do the play action. Let's hope this works. As we're going to look for Ray out there in the flat. No, we're not. We're going him. We're going Anderson. Anderson with the big catch for at least 20. Got to be. 26 yards. Pat Anderson to open it up. Let's go. Stanford, good pass. Like I said, look at your, look at your receivers. Trust your gut. Find the open man. Mark Holiday, get some. Oh, man, if I didn't hit that truck stick early, I think we would have had a lot more yards there, but that's six. Two carries, both for six yards. As we're going to bring Trevor Roberts in here to see if he can cause some damage to this mediocre defense. As we just, we just, mm, we stuttered it a little bit. We should have just went right in the gap that we saw, but it looked like it was closing up. Now it's third and one. And we are going to give it to our guy, Marky Mark Holiday. Um, let's go to the left here. As we got some blocks, but a flag. Don't tell me it's holding. Please don't say holding. And he says holding. Third and 11 here because I think we had it. We did. Ah, damn it, man. We were having a drive. Now we got to try to. Do we go screen here? Let's go screen to Mark Holiday. Offensive line needs to step up here and get us some blocks. I think we got it. And we got the blocks that we needed. And it's a first down. Stand forward to Mark Holiday for a first down. Our drive is still alive. As we are going to run the ball once again. Or, no, just run the ball, Bobby. Just run the ball. There we go. As Mark Holiday gets a big gain for 13 yards. Three carries, 24 yards. We are having a solid drive to start the game here. On the road. Our offensive line is delivering blocks like crazy. Break the tackle, Mark. Marky Mark. First down. We are on the 16-yard line, and we're moving. Halfback stretch. They're moving that safety. Let's go to the inside here. 
as we get a few four yards that's still positive I was a little nervous about that safety meeting us on the backfield and he did not our offensive line didn't even see him he was untouched always gotta watch out for the safety blitz can we beat him can we beat him Mark Holiday for the touchdown no Mark Holiday you are on it right now first drive six carries for 52 yards now we have to we have to give Mark Holiday a chance to punch it in. They were trying to do a sub there. I don't want it. He deserves this touchdown. And I think we got it. Mark Holiday to start the game off with a touchdown. What a solid drive by our offensive line to open up the holes for Mark Holiday. They were on it with their blocking right there. It's like they improved big time from last week. Extra point attempt. It should be good. Chase McLaughlin brings it to seven and zero. Out comes Jalen Hurts and the Green Bay Packers for their very first drive of the game. Jalen Hurts is having a nice season. 832 yards, six touchdowns, and two picks. We're going to go in the zone. Our new player is not in. Where are you? Matthew Gravasi. Get your ass in the game. We're going to put Zimmerman as the sub linebacker as well. Okay. All right. I like what I see now. Let's go. As they go to the flat, incomplete, Jalen Hurts threw it behind his receiver. Another issue that we've been having a little bit on our team is quarterback pressure. Look at Matthew Gervasi. He looks like an absolute monster in the middle of that field. Oh, man, they got me. Can we get a pick? Damn. I thought they were running. That was a really good play action by Jalen Hurts. Let's go zone blitz here. <clears throat> Put that corner back in a blitz. Jalen Hurts with that play action. He uh, scared me a bit. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. As he has three inaccurate completions thus far. Our defense stands tall, forces them to punt. Let's get the ball back and continue to put points on the board. We are going to still lean on that run game just because it worked so well for us last time. Hold your blocks there, young kid. We're in the 38-yard line. Stand forward, and your Alaskan Huskies come out for their second drive of the game. Marky Mark Holiday, you are getting the ball once again. We're going to run you out to the left side here. And we got wide open spaces right here. Truck the first guy. You get off me. I'm Marky Mark Holiday with 72 rushing yards already on only eight carries. He is having a day. A day. Nope, we're going to go to the right, but we're going inside because that safety is scary. And we got pushed. There was no hole there. I was about to go outside, but defensive... Defensive end read it. Read it like a book. That's okay. Marky Mark. <clears throat> Inside zone. They're doing a lot of safety blitzes today. Truck stick. And it doesn't work out well. Only one yard. Third and nine. We can go screen again, but because we've been running so much, I think a play action pass might work out better. Play action. Can he get there? Pat Anderson. First down. On the run, poor accuracy for Stanford. But Pat Anderson is that man. Second catch for Pat Anderson. Both were crucial. Both were first downs. As they are... They are reading this run game. 
And I think we need to try to get Trevor Roberts some action. Where are you, Trevor Roberts? I'm gonna give you some carries here. And there is none. All right. The left is wide open for Mark Holiday. If we can hold that superstar dev right there, Mark Holiday has some space. Hold your blocks. Pat Anderson, you are a beast. He's a catcher. He's a blocker. He's a scorer. He's a racker. Run after catch. Run after catcher. Racker. Made it up. Coach wants to go with this play action, but it's the start of the second quarter now. Mark Holiday getting the ball once again. Get off me. I'm 99 break tackle. I think we've called that play so many times that the defense is actually just reacting to it a lot faster than we would hope. As we we don't we, we're not scared of contact. We're going put we're going right to your face, dude. It's Marky Mark Holiday, 99 break tackle. Cross drag here. Don't know how I feel about this play. As we're going, it, oh my, Marky Mark was supposed to go out on his route and he did it. It's like he was just looking for a block. Oh, Marky Mark. So he was supposed to, if there's nobody to block there, go on your route and he didn't. Unless I'm crazy, but I'm pretty sure it was a block and run for a route. I, I, I mean, we didn't really have anyone else open. He would have been the guy. Their coverage downfield was just... Uh, well, they forced us to take three. 32 yarder chase McLaughlin hits it the wind must be mean there because I barely missed the uh, the perfect kick so it's hard sometimes on all Madden especially if you don't have a superstar dev kicker because you have no idea really where your ball is going when you kick it uh, which is kind of difficult challenging but fun unless it's like you need it to win the game. Then it's not so much fun. Jalen Hurts come out for his second drive. He did terrible. Three for three. Three inaccurate throws. He missed his receiver on every throw that he had. As Jalen Hurts is taking off. Jalen Hurts still running. Still going. Cut stick. Oh, man. One carry for 28 yards. Our game plan is to contain the scramble, I thought. All right. How do we... I don't really know. Defensive tackle, you got to get off that. As Campbell comes up with 14 yards, but Carmichael stops him. All right. Not good. Not good. Just when I got him, a linebacker who would help with our pass coverage, they want to run the ball. Can we get a sack? What are you guys doing? What the hell is that? All right. <laughs> so, defensive line is now lacking in speed. Good defense. Good defense by a free agent pickup, McCreary. Old man McCreary. If you're a mentor, you're an old man. Pretend to the game. Old man McCreary with a nice stop. They're going to run it here with Campbell. I think. Nope. Terrible throw by Hertz, but his first completion and is now third and ten. Let's hold him, force him to take three here. We don't want to allow a touchdown. Here's Hertz to throw. 
Can we get him? Can we get him? Get him! Get him! Okay. We stopped him. Forced him to take three. Fourth down. Kitchens, thank you for stopping Jalen Hurts because he has three carries for 45 yards on us already in the first half. We're going to have to put like a quarterback spy. I got to... I can't remember how you do that in the game, though. We'll figure it out. As we get the ball for our third drive, let's get some points. All right, we're back on the field with our offense. Mark Holiday having a decent season. 50 carries, almost 300 yards, and three touchdowns. Three minutes and 18 seconds left in the second. We need to take this ball down the field. Oh, as Mark Holiday just doesn't have the speed to turn that corner. Coach wants to call a play action boot here. Oh, Mark, if you were faster, you would be crazy. As we got Pat Anderson down the field for a nice first down. Pat Anderson, another clutch catch for your Alaskan Huskies. Mark Holiday, three yards. As long as it's not negative, I'm not angry. Stanford having a decent game. No one completions yet. We're trusting our receivers to make a play. And I think the only people we've thrown to is, is Pat Anderson and Mark Holiday. As we're going to go screen here to Trevor Roberts. And we should get him. We should get some blocks here. Cut it back. Positive yards. That's what we like. No huddle here. We're going to run it here with Trevor Roberts. Truck stick. Doesn't work. Call timeout. A minute 34 left in half. Mesh spot. One of my favorite plays in Madden. One thing, because it, it usually works, as we got Trey McBride on the outside. Trey, with the speed, gets a first down. Stand forward, 7-7, seven to seven, 97 yards. No incompletions. Why does Coach want us to run screen so many times? Uh, we're going to gun cross. Keep these, uh, keep our receivers running the flats. It's It, it helps out. Not only us, but Stanford won't throw a pick. <laughs> As we get a nice catch from Ray, Markel Ray. Is it Markel Ray? I believe it is. Good touchdown there. Let's try to go deep here with Anderson. Nope, not happening. He's wide open. Can he get there? He does. Touchdown, Stanford. Touchdown, Melvin Ray. Not Markel Ray. Melvin Ray for a touchdown thrown by Stan Ford. It was beautiful. Way to get open. Good throw. The confidence is coming. The confidence is there. We're having, we have a football team. Beautiful. You got to love it. Oh, man. It feels good when everything's going right. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. The wind is crucial out there. As we put it up by two scores, 17-3, to your Alaskan Huskies. Can we keep it up? McLaughlin launches it as Jalen Hurts and his Green Bay Packers are going to take the field. I got to figure out how to do the QB spy. Oh, man, we're just letting Jalen Hurts do what he wants. We got to have that QB spy. Oh, 
Why did he just stop running right there? Okay. They just moved ball pretty damn quickly. Alright. Nope. Nope. Uh, get there. How do we put the QB spy? Uh, defensive keys. Oh, I think I found it. Get him. Boom. Big hit by Matthew Garrison to put Jalen Hurts on the floor. But the problem is he got a first down. All right. Defensive keys. Not what I wanted. And wide open touchdown. Emmett Justice. Why can't I figure out this QB spy thing? I think if I had it down, we would be able to stop him. All right, we get the ball back. 29 seconds, two timeouts. Maybe we try and give some more points. I don't know. I think so, though. I'm feeling good. Back on offense, Mark Holiday, 15 carries, 94 yards, and a touchdown. Averaging 6.2 yards per carry. He's doing his thing today. It's exactly what we wanted from him, and he's delivering. Now, to try to get this team into field goal range is another question. Oh, if he catches this, we're on. We're, oh, and he's on the money as we get Trevor Roberts deep down the middle of the field to the 28 yard line. Wow. And just like that, we are in field goal range and possibly a touchdown. Good throw by Stanford, who was rushed out the pocket because our offensive line makes him run for his life every play. Just to get us to field goal range. That was that was awesome. Get there. And Pat, not Pat. That is Melvin Ray for a first down, out of bounds, stop the clock, inaccurate pass, and he ran and got it. Look at that. Look at the pressure. We have no time. We have no time whatsoever. <laughs> but we are trying to do what we can, and Stanford is delivering as he has no incompletions right now. No. Look at this. Stanford with an absolute... It was an inaccurate pass, not an absolute. I was about to say absolute dime. It was an absolute inaccurate pass by Stanford, and Melvin Ray is the reason we got that first down. Can we deliver with a touchdown here? And I think we got a man. We had a man, and we had to throw out of a sack. Oh, I should have threw it earlier, but I think if I threw it earlier, it would have been an incomplete or an interception. That's, that's our first incompletion. Why do we keep running the same play? Play action here. Nobody's open. Throw it away. Take three. Damn. That's okay. Stand for it. 11 for 13. Almost 200 yards. As we go for a field goal. And should make that. Again, it's tight, but we close out the half with points, and that is exactly what we wanted. Good first half for your Alaskan Huskies. As we leaned on Mark Holiday, and he got 99 rushing yards. But Stanford is the surprise of the game with 183. So I'm proud of what we just accomplished in the first half. We got to keep it going in the second half and figure out from there. And we're back with the second half. About to begin at halftime, I told my players, look, you guys are having a hell of a game. Keep going out there with the mindset of scoring points on offense and on defense with the mindset of stopping Jalen Hurts from running that damn ball. Get him. I thought I figured out how to put a QB spy. We're going to try again. I am going to figure out before <laughs> the end of this game how to put a QB spy here. 
And I found it. Oh, man. Matthew Garrison got picked up on the block last second, and we have an injury timeout for Keanu Benton, another signing from our free agency. Oh, man. I hope it's not too serious because we need him. We finally found out how to do the QB spy. As he's going deep and he misses his wide receiver. Jalen Hurts is pretty inaccurate today. Um, that's rare. We're putting QB spy on Jalen Hurts the whole game. Oh. Bush with the stop. If it's not Jalen Hurts, it's Campbell. As he has a Bruce Sternum. I hate that injury in this game because they're always out for the game, man. Alright. Gotta put that QB spy. Can we put pressure on Jalen? We put the pressure on him and he's inaccurate once again. This QB spy might be a might be working to our advantage. As we're going to control Zimmerman here. Control the middle of the field. Good cut stick. I keep telling my the last two videos that I've uploaded. I am a, I, I always hit the cut stick. I need to stop because when it doesn't work, I get so upset. And when it does work, I feel like a genius. Oh, I thought it was a fake. Why did it look like a late handoff? First down, Packers. That's okay. Come on, guys. At this point, I don't even care if we let them score points on this game. I just don't want us to stop scoring points. So as long as we capitalize on every point scored by the Green Bay Packers, I think we'll be fine. And capitalizing on anything has been a struggle for us for the past two weeks. Tackle him. I almost cut stick. Decided not to. Good wrap up. Let's blitz. And Matthew Gravasi, watch that running back because he's going to get the ball. And we stop him. Gravasi with a nice stop. Third and four on the seven. Let's hold him for three again. But you need to watch Jalen Hurts. As Jalen Hurts th has to throw it away, we put the pressure on him. Throw it away. Fourth down. Force them to take three. Good stop by our defense. And I know he thought about running. Thank God for that QB spy. If we found out how to do QB spy earlier, I don't think that Jalen Hurts would have as many yards as he does right now. But they took three. It's a seven-point game, and we get the ball. Let's keep that momentum that we had in the first half going. As every, every decision was made correctly, stand forward. Not throwing unnecessary turnovers. Mark Holiday getting yards. Yards that we that we needed. There, were, there was a couple breakthroughs where he had a like a large, large amount of yards he picked up on one play. But just getting first downs is what I want. And he does not. Second and one. Nine yard carry though. He's above the century mark. Rushing yards. And a touchdown. Mark Holiday getting the ball again. Looks like they're blitzing. And they are, but we pick up the blocks and get the first down. Good runs by Mark Holiday. Marky Mark Holiday. I love running the ball in shotgun formation. I rarely like to run it in like single back or I form. I no, I don't like I formation because I feel like the fullback just gets in your way in this game and it just causes mayhem. As we get an injury to one of our starting offensive tackles, looks like he might just have cramps, stretch him out. Get them back in the game. We lost two there. 
Let's, uh, Anderson over there looks interesting, but can he break off and have a good release? And he does. I think we throw it. Nope. Oh! <laughs> Our other wide receiver almost caught it, number 88. Who is that? I think that is Melvin Ray. Or, no, Markel. Markel Bryan? Okay. We need this first down. As we're going deep, and we got him! Melvin Ray for a touchdown! Good throw by Stanford. What an absolute bullet. An absolute dime by Stanford for the touchdown by Melvin Ray. Third down completion for a touchdown. Stanford is showing him showing us that we need to not give up on him because I'm not going to lie last game I was a little on edge with his performance as any coach or anybody would be if their quarterback threw three interceptions Jalen Hurts and his boys come back on Marion Campbell for 55 yards he has a 9 yards per carry not what we like Another QB spy. And Jalen Hurts with another inaccurate pass. This is so weird. He's 6 for 14 right now. Only 66 yards. And the crazy thing is, is he has receivers open. He's just overthrowing it. Carmichael gets there, pushes him out of bounds. He drops the ball. Carmichael with an excellent defensive play. Carmichael with a great play to keep us third down and 10. No yards have been gained here as they do get a first down now. Carmichael stops him. If he broke that tackle, he would have, he, no, is that Gant? Oh, man. Keep the QB spy on Jalen. And he's, he caught it. Tiptoes on the sideline for three yards. Second and seven at midfield. Let's keep him out of our territory here. Another QB spy, of course. Matthew Gravasi, our new linebacker. As we stop him, only carry two yards. Only carry for two yards. Now a third and five. Watch Jalen Hurts. Watch Jalen Hurts. As the QB spy works to perfection. Edwards with the stop. We finally got him to not run on us, and they are going to punt this ball back. With less than a minute left in the third quarter, we are up by two scores, two touchdowns, and we are pinned back to the 10-yard line. But we don't care because we have Mark Holiday, who has a stellar game going on, and it's not over. 103 yards rushing, 14 yards receiving. Stand forward, making the passes count, making smart decisions. As 57, you got to come off that double team, man. You can't just let the linebacker come take us, take us for a little walk in the backfield. You've got to come off that double team. We're going to go screen here to Marky Mark Holiday. We got to get it to him. We got to get it. Did we just take a safety? Why is his play? Why is his passing motion so slow? Oh man. I mean, wasn't that a tough spot on the field to make it's a safety. All right. We just gave him two free points here. But we just need to stay strong with our defense here. Damn, that's not mm. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. 
Jalen Hurts, four yard gain. That safety's really bothered me. I, why was the throwing animation so slow? Is that a thing in this game or? Oh man. Having a perfect game is, is it's hard to do. So roll with the punches. We're not gonna let it let this uh lack of momentum get to us. As they go to screen route, but Gervasi's there. He doesn't care. You're down. Good read by Gervasi. As Jalen Hurts gets hit by our QB spy. And they're going for it. I don't blame them. QB spy is working to perfection right now. And I couldn't. I can't ask for more than that. I mean, Jalen Hurts was absolutely destroying us at the beginning of this game. Oh, I read that terribly. Oh, it could have been a user alert interception. Okay. They convert on fourth down. They're marching. We gave them two free points. We got to get a turnover here or something. Good defense. I was locked on the receiver. I should have dropped down. QB spy, baby. QB spy every play. Matthew Gravasi. Carmichael with an excellent wrap-up tackle. Third and three. Kind of in the same situation as we were just a minute ago. We got to hold them here. Are they going to Are they gonna run this ball? Nope. Get there. Oh, I thought that could have been an interception. That's all right. Fourth and three. They gained nothing. Fourth down here. Big fourth down right here. Four and a half minutes. A lot of time left on this clock. And they wide open on the field as Gravasi gets a tackle. 13-yard line. Under four and a half minutes to go in the game. <sighs> Drop back in the zone, Gravasi. Watch that tight end. Because they keep going to these little flat routes, but that's okay because they're not gaining money yards. Clock is still, no, clock is stopped. Outside linebacker blitz here, but QB spy. Clock stops here, 3.52 left to go. As they're going back to the flat, but we have a man there. Good job, Powell, with the stop there. Got to hurry to get that QB spy out. Oh, no, he's wide open. Can we stop a good good tackle? QB spy with it. Excellent tackle to keep them out the end zone. Got to get him. Oh, it switched to the wrong guy. No. Oh, we had Jalen Hurts. Oh, my gosh. No. Everything's going wrong this half. I think I jinxed ourselves when I said that everything's going right. Now let's hope they don't do an onside kick here. Regular kickoff. Thank God. We have to kill the clock. We have to get first downs. And if we're lucky, a touchdown or a field goal. And do not turn this damn ball over. Of course, we want a touchdown, but I will settle for a field goal. Just to put it up by eight. As Green Bay just answers. Oh, man. As Holiday puts it on the ground for two, we are going to kill this damn clock. I do not want them to get the ball again. So, we're going to let it run down here. As we're down to five seconds, two seconds, I'm hiking this damn ball. And we're going for that first down, and we got it. Marky Mark Holiday, stay in bounds. Another great pickup. And no, Avila. Looks like Avila's hurt, so clock is going to stop. Steven Avila, another pickup that we had in free agency. 
Damn, that would that would have brought us back to the two two minute uh, two minute warning. Mark Holiday with a three yard gain. Kill this clock to the two minute warning. Come back out and keep running that damn ball. Keep killing that clock. We do not want the Packers to take the ball back. I I want to say Eagles every time just because Jalen hurts. We got some bad news on our starting center, Stephen Avila, with a torn labrum. Labrum? He's going to be out for a lot of weeks. That's unfortunate. We're going to the left. Give it to Marky Mark. Can he get a first down? Break the tackle. He does. No, don't push him out. And they, they pushed us out of bounds to stop the clock. Oh, man. All right, Marky Mark. Get there for the first down. Marky Mark Holiday with the first down. What a clutch move to get us the yards that we needed there. Marky Mark Holiday. Can we break it? All right, all right. Nope, can't. We stayed in bounds, though. Let him kill the timeout. Okay, Marky Mark Holiday, you're getting the ball again, obviously. We're going to the left, to the weak side. And we get some good blocks. Can we get a break, broken tackle? And he pushes his way to third and one. Now all you need to do is pick up this first down. And the game is ours. Mark, oh, Marky Mark, fourth and inches. Is this four down territory? Or do I just take the points? Coach wants us to go for it. And I like the call, but I am also absolutely terrified. Oh my gosh. We're going to let the clock get killed and I'm going to call timeout. And we got to play clock down to a minute and two seconds. We are winning this game 27 22. It's fourth and inches. I called a timeout. The coach wanted us to go for it, but now he's telling us to kick the field goal. But I still like the call. Of running the ball and we are Mark Holiday with a big conversion on fourth and inches to kill the game your Alaskan Huskies are gonna move to two and two and we are going to win this game oh we are still in the hunt without our vision now I'm so glad we didn't drop to one and three Let's take some knees and call it a day. And we will win this ball game as the clock gets to triple zeros. Your Alaskan Huskies have won the ball game 27 to 22 against the Green Bay Packers. Let's check out the player stats. The Stanford has a damn near perfect game. Only 12 completions, but each completion was a nice chunk of yardage as we get 258 yards and two touchdowns. We held Jalen Hurts to have a pretty shitty game in the beginning. But then he was on it in the second half. 18 for 27, 158. Only one touchdown, thank God. No picks, no turnovers for either team. Mark Holiday with 28 carries, a buck 48, and a touchdown. Jalen Hurts was on the ground in the first half, only because I didn't know how to call a QB spy, but that's all right. Marion Campbell, 57 yards. Trevor Roberts, 5 yards. A receiving Melvin Ray, four catches, a buck 14, and two tutties. What a day for Melvin Ray. As I still want to give a shout out to Pat Anderson, who every catch that he made was crucial to our drive. It was either a long third down or just a perfect thrown first down, and he gained first downs every catch that he had. So shout out to Pat Anderson helping out this team. Trevor Roberts, too, with a nice dagger in the middle of the field. For 59 yards. I think it was right before halftime when we kicked our field goal. So good on him. Our total tackles here. James Bush with the most tackles on the field. Rashard Carmichael. How did our new pickup, Matthew Gervasi? Three tackles, one TFL. I don't think we had a single sack. We did not. But the Packers had two. And they had a safety. Ah. We gotta get we gotta get that pressure, man. We gotta get that pressure. 
Well, there you have it, folks. Your Alaskan Huskies go to two and two. Such a great game as we got some upgrades here. Donatello Powell, our starting cornerback. We're going to increase his slot, which will jump him up to an 88, a true 86, because he has a plus two temp. As he goes a plus one tackle, plus one press. Not bad. Still star. Hopefully we can get some superstar devs in our on our team eventually. It's gonna happen very slowly. But great game by your Alaskan Huskies. Great all around team win. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe so I can prove my wife that I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> actually i'm just having fun so i appreciate i appreciate everything and uh, i'll see you in the next one peace